Six defeats and a one point, I think, from the first seven games. Incredible, it really, really was. And as we know, they beat Huddersfield 1-0 at Wembley. After Huddersfield, let's be honest, guys, were denied two penalties, which I thought were stonewall, by John Moss and Var. Were they stonewall? Well... Well, I thought do you they know, were. Do you know something? Are they? I, 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 I'm going to tell you. They're not Stonewall. They are when you watch them. I've just seen them again. I, 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 when you watch them on VAR, I think they're Stonewall. I don't think they are. Have you looked from all different angles, I've, Jamie? I've just watched it and from all angles there again, just to make sure when I come on here that you know I'm giving a fair opinion. Now I, yeah. watched, I see them yesterday, but yeah, seeing them. Uh, look, the point that we disagree, right? I don't think right? it's clear and obvious that he's got the first one. I know he skips past him, but has he caught him? Does he catch him? Look, does I'll, he tell, I'll tell you what I'll say to you. You look at Colback's reaction. That tells you all you need to know. He knows he's caught him. I don't, he knows he's caught him. And he's, he, he admitted it on his interview after the game. Did he? he said, I didn't yeah, know that. that yeah. was. The first one's a penalty. Simple as. But penalty. Jamie, the point that me, we are disagreeing, right? tells you and we were professional footballers tells you that because they've changed the rules that many times yeah. what is a penalty now what is enough contact well yeah no I agree I mean look the second one again I'm not saying they're not penalties I'm, but I, do I think they're stonewall no I think it's a decision that needs to be made by VAR it needs to go to VAR and maybe because he's not given them in the first place they don't want to overrule him if he gives them penalties I don't think VAR overrules in the other way and says, no, it's yeah, not but, but where I've got a problem, and I think Dino, I think Dino agrees, I'm not trying to speak for you, Dino, where I, as soon as you go to VAR for the first one, right, mm. I don't think there's any way that you can overturn it. I think the guy, mm. I, he's looking at it and saying, well, you know something, I think you did yeah, get right wrong because there's contact. I'm not being harsh on Paul Turney, but it's, wasn't he... Uh, wasn't I don't he, know. It, look, Jim, it, wasn't he the... Wasn't he in the VAR studio for the Man City Fraser on the goalkeeper? Oh, that know. one. No, I think he. I think he done that one as well. How can he look at that decision and them two on Sunday and not think the penalty? You've got to overrule it if you think it's clear and obvious. Now the help. referee's standing right there. He sees the incident and he says it's not a penalty. He actually books him, doesn't he, for diving? Yeah, that. May, don't even get going there. So I mean, how you know, I think he looks at it and goes, "Is there enough in it?" to overrule the referee and say it's clear and you've made a clear and obvious ever uh, error sorry and uh, I, I think it's soft I think it would have no. been a soft no. well, he, I mean he's a, not clattered him he's a question he's for the two of he's tripped him up he's, he's gone him. past surely, him and he's looking surely he's looking for the penalty surely right I'll, I'll take your point which I don't necessarily agree with but surely if he's looking at it, VAR surely he, he, he has made a clear and obvious error and booking them. Yeah. And sometimes when you run away from the referee, which he was running away from the ref, the ref can... He's got one angle. John Cross. Mm. John Moss, not John Cross. Yeah. He's got he's got one angle and the legs tangle. But when you go in the VAR studio and he looks at eight different screens from all different angles, you can see it's not a tangle of legs. Yeah. It was a foul. Anyway, listen, I want to move on to something more positive. How do we see, first of all, and I keep saying it, congratulations to Forrest. What an incredible. incredible, incredible achievement. Good luck to you. We're looking forward to seeing you next year in the top flight. Boys, how can they do? Or what do they need to do? Do um, they need to make changes? As I say, we saw them a couple of times, particularly in the Cup. Three centre-backs, Worrell and Cook and, 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 and the big lad McKenna. Yeah. Super, well, they need to try, really well. They need to try and sign Jed Spence. Mm -hmm. I mean, because he was on loan from Middlesbrough which is, you know, ridiculous. Um, so if they can try and sign him permanently, I think that would be a great signing. I don't know if they will. Um, I think, they, they, look, they're going to have to strengthen because watching the game and seeing it, there is a, a, a bit of a lack of quality. It looked like a championship match of football. When uh -huh. I've seen Fulham play in the past and I've seen Norwich play, um, they the way they move the ball, the way they pass it, I think um, they look like Premier League teams. I think Nottingham Forest will need to improve with better players, bring in the right players, bring in the right mentality of player. Um, but Steve Cooper, I mean, what an unbelievable job. They were they were Correct. bottom in September when they Correct. took over. I mean, he should be manager of the season. Why, why is Jurgen Klopp getting manager of the season? Why doesn't Steve Cooper get it? The uh, biggest job he's got now for me, Jamie, is... You remember when Fulham got promoted? They won the champ. They won the championship, and they flew up, and they signed sixteen players and diluted the team spirit. Yeah, you remember? don't sign sixteen. You've got to be but careful. You, got to, you sign four or five that are going to improve the starting eleven. Yeah, we've just got to learn from that because you start like bringing a load of players in who have played at a higher level. You lose what they've got. Yeah. So that's yeah. Spirit. But you're bringing four or five. 
Yeah, he's got to, like, uh, it's up to him. I mean, he knows you got to bring in a goal obviously. scorer. You know, you, you need a, a goal scorer, a Premier League goal scorer, because there's a massive difference between scoring goals in the Championship, scoring goals in the Premier League. It's a, a better, massive step up. Have they got a better chance of staying up than a two and off automatic? <sighs> I think they have. It's momentum. And well, he's given belief. That. You can't say that. I mean, because Fulham and Bournemouth did. finished above them. I just you said can't it. say that. I, I mean, what? Got, what, what? Because they've gone up, gone up in the playoff final, they're, they're yeah. going to have a better chance yeah, of staying I th- up. I think Brentford Fulham won the league. Yeah, but I think Brentford have gone up with that sort of uh, same momentum, and I think he's, the the team beat Leicester, they beat Arsenal, they've yeah. beaten Premier League teams. They have, they have. It's not anyway. fluke. But- Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from 6 a.m. on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.